instead of having the same workflow copy pasted over and over again in different places like I have here with um, three times the same upvote workflow and the same downvote workflow, uh, you can now add global workflows in WeWeb. So in the data um, menu, you can go ahead to workflows and add your workflow here. So here, for example, I created an upvote um, workflow. By the way, you could add uh, parameters here if you wanted to. In our case, we're doing a CRUD and Airtable. So whenever a user uh, clicks on um, the button, uh, it creates a record in Airtable in our upvote table. Uh, we have here the, we bind it to the active users, the authenticated user as email. You can see here I'm, I'm logged in. Uh, we bind the ticket to the item data ID. Uh, here you see that it's uh, because it's set globally, you don't see the current value. There is no current value, but I'll show you on the page that um, suddenly it comes to life. Now, I don't actually need a username, so I left this empty. And then my second um, my second action is to actually sync a record in uh, a different table called tickets. And there I just need to uh, send the uh, item uh, data from, again, from the ticket ID. So now that I have this, um, I'm going to show you first how it works when I, uh, when I had the um, so I had this upvote workflow on the page and the way it worked is if I test the workflow, you'll see here, it'll go um, and it shows that I upvoted. Now I'll go back and downvote this now to reset it. And now what I can do is instead of having, um, and I have the same, uh, the same workflow here and again on the third column, uh, right here. So now instead of doing that, what I can do is here, I'm going to replace this upvote one. I'm going to create a new workflow, um, the upvote global, and the trigger event will be on click, same. But the action in this case will be to execute a workflow. And the workflow I want to execute is the one I created uh, here, which I called upvote as well. And if I test the action, you'll see that boom, the upvote, um, the upvote triggered here. So now instead of ha instead of having to rewrite this workflow with all the parameters and uh, and actions here, I can just delete that one, delete it here. And what I'll do is here as well. I'll delete this one, and I can just do the same here. Add a workflow on click, it will be, I want to execute one of my global workflows, which is the upvote workflow and test the action. And there you go. So it'll save you time because you don't have to uh, go through this setup multiple times, but it also it's also best practice in web app development because now you have this central API management system, uh, so to speak, where if you make a change, in, in your uh, in your call here in your API call here it will update throughout the web application wherever you've used you've triggered this uh, global workflow.